Hey friends, this is the Miss Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead. So we had our Thanksgiving turkey. And now we're going to have turkey soup and dumplings. So after I sent left home, leftovers home with the kids and took some to Briar, we put the carcass of our turkey into the crock pot, covered it in water, and it has been cooking for... I don't know, 18 hours on low. So we're gonna we're gonna decant all the bones and stuff, and strain the broth, and then we're gonna add our vegetables and stuff. Let's get on it. Okay. So normally, I like to cut all my vegetables in nice different size chunks and things, but it's actually already 2:30 in the afternoon. So I'm gonna cut them in the the small with the small cutter. I'm just going to drop this ball of frozen celery in there and put this back in the freezer. And now I'm just going to start. What I have here is carrots, potatoes, and onion. And I'm cutting them all in smaller pieces so that they'll cook faster. of these in here while I dig the meat out of here. So when this is ready for the dumplings, we'll be back. I actually ended up putting this soup in the fridge overnight because I we ended up having turkey sandwiches. So we've got our turkey soup on a boil now. I'm going to turn it up just to make sure it continues to simmer and I'm going to make dumplings. Now you've seen me make dumplings before. I haven't got my KitchenAid yet, so I'm not, and I don't have the power in my hands right now to do noodles. So in here, I'm going to put a couple of generous teaspoons of baking powder, about a quarter teaspoon salt. All right, half a teaspoon of salt. And instead of just flour, I'm going to add. I've got I got these at um, Walmart, and I really like them. This is dried chives. Let's be generous there. And some dried parsley. All I did was I, instead of ripping the whole top off, I just ripped off a piece so that I could actually use it to shake it out. Stir all that together. Make a little well in there. And I've got some cold pressed sunflower oil here. So I'm going to put in two tablespoons of oil into my third of a cup of milk. I've got one cup of flour, a third of a cup of milk, two tablespoons of oil, two teaspoons of baking powder, salt, chives, and parsley to taste. So we got our little well in here. I'm just going to mix up my oil and milk and pour it right down in the center. And then I'm just going to use my fork to mix this all. Look at that. I may have actually put too much flour in here. So I'm going to add another little shot of milk because I, I overdid it with the flour. Plus, I added extra dry ingredients. So. Just going to take my lid off and you want to be as quick as you possibly can. You want your stew, your soup, to be hot and bubbling because it's going to cook the dumplings, right? We're just going to drop these via tablespoon all through here. I suppose a, cu a, a cookie scoop probably would have been better, but you know what? I wasn't thinking. Just wasn't thinking about it. I just grabbed my spoon and my fork. It's the way I've always done it. So, I 
I've seen people use floured biscuits. Like I, I've seen people use biscuits, like just store-bought biscuits for this. But you know what? This comes out so much fluffier and lighter. I'm going to drop you down over here. And there it is. And we're going to put this on here. And I'm just going to cover this here. Like that. I'm just going to put my... Just put my old tea cozy on here to keep the heat in to let those dumplings cook. And we'll see you when Papa tastes them. Alrighty, I just took my... Oh, look at that. So I'm just going to make a nice big dumpling here. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. Oh, would you look at that. All right, let's just pepper this puppy for Papa. And when it cools down a little bit, you will see him. Hopefully give that a thumbs up. Okay, so tonight, it's a replay of last year, only it's uh, parsley and chive dumplings. Watch it, baby, it's really hot. I did try and let it cool down. On a cold, wet day, nothing beats it, eh? Awesome. <laughs> you think she's going to get to lick the plate? I think so. There you go. Give daddy kisses. Give daddy kisses. Oh. This is the Miss Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead saying, on a cold, wet day, nothing beats turkey and dumplings. Take care. God bless.